Good day everybody. This is a very beautiful question. In fact, it's an inspiring question. So foremost, what I wish to do is I would like to draw the circle. Now, the circle is inscribed inside a triangle. So that triangle is a right triangle. So we need to make sure the triangle is the right triangle. Okay. So there is a tangent here and there is also another tangent to the other side of the circle. So, okay, so we got a beautiful figure. So let me name it as A, B, and C. Now this entire length is given to be as 36 units. And the radius of the circle is given to be as 6 units. So radius is 6 units and we are expected to find the shaded region. So let me draw the figure first. Now from the center there is a line drawn to the tangent. Now whenever a line is drawn to the tangent it makes an angle of 90 degrees. Okay. Now we are expected to find the area of this shaded region which is actually uh, a figure which has two sides obtained from the center of the circle and naturally if you were to look into those uh, lines they are actually the radius of the circle and this radius is hitting the tangent to the circle. So thereby there is a 90 degree here. So there is a 90 degree here and a 90 degree here. Right? So of course the other side is also 90 degree but we are not much interested in that. I am just mentioning you the angles made by the side of the figure in question. Now we are expected to find this region. Okay, this shaded region we are expected to find. Right, but from the question point of view, if we were to look at this region, we are not in a position to draw any conclusions. Right, we do not know what exactly is it, but on closer introspection we will be able to easily solve this question. So foremost what I wish to do is I know that from the center in fact the radius of the circle is 6 units that means from here to the tangent is 6 units. So this is actually 6 units. Right? Now what I wish to do is I would like to drop a line from the center to the tangent. Now as I mentioned to you when we do that there is an angle of 90 degree being made. Right? So that is from the tangent theorem. So 90 degree is being made here. There is a 90 degree here. There is a 90 degree here. And the, the question has clearly given us that there, this is a right triangle. So all the sides that are observed here are actually 90 degrees. So that would mean if I were to take this as A, B, C, D, 
and this point as E, clearly we see that O D B E is a square. Now this is an important point of observation. Now, since this is a square, all the four sides are equal. So this is six units, so this will be six units. Right? And this will be six units, and this is actually also six units. Now, if this is six units, the total length AB is given to be as 36 units. So that would mean my AD is going to be 30 units. So AD is 30. Now A is an external point and from this external point there is a tangent that is hitting the circle. Right? So let me mention this point as F and there is also a tangent that is hitting the circle at D. Now from the theorem if a tangent is drawn, if two tangents are drawn from an external point to the circle then the length of the tangent would be equal. So this would mean since A is an external point, from the external point we are drawing two tangents to the circle. So because of the theorem, AF will be equal to AD. But AD is equal to 30 units, so thereby AF will be equal to 30 units. Okay, that is one particular observation and we have got that data. Now there is another external point C. From this external point, two tangents are drawn to the circle. And they are hitting the circle at F and they are hitting the circle here at E. So by the same theorem, if you were to draw a tangent from an external point to the circle, then the length of the tangents are equal. So also I can clearly state here that CF is equal to CE, but I do not know this length. Now if I were to take this as X units, then this would be X units, right? Because CF is equal to CE and I'm taking it to be as X. So now we got more or less the equation in place that we need. Now we are going to be utilizing the all important theorem, the most powerful theorem, Pythagoras. So by Pythagoras theorem, what do we have? We got AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. So AB squared, this entire length is 36 squared. My BC squared is 6 positive X or I can write it as X positive 6 raised to the power of 2. My AC squared is 30 positive X raised to the power of 2. Now you might be wondering why am I interested in getting the value of X? The moment you get the value of X, you can easily obtain the area for this particular region. Now I will just first obtain the value of X and then I will move on to show you how the area of this region is obtained. So we need to obtain 36 squared. So 36 into 36, 6, 6 are 36, 3, 6, 3 are 18, 19, 20, 21. And then 6, 3 are 18, 1, 3, 3 are 9 and 10, 6, 9, 2, 1, 2, 9, 6. So this is 1, 2, 9, 6. Expand this, you get x squared positive 12x positive 36. You expand this, this is going to be 930 squared, right? And uh, this is going to be 60x positive x squared. So clearly x squared, x squared can be cancelled. I am going to be pushing this 900 to this side. So 1296 negative 900. And I'm going to move this 12x to the other side. So that would give me 60x negative 12x. Of course there is a 36 there. So you'll have to place that 36 there. So let me subtract 1296. From 1296 I'm subtracting 900. This is 6, 9. From 12 you take away 9 you get 3. And then you add 36. 6, 6 are 12, 1. 10, 13, 1, 4, 3, 2. So all this gives us the value 432. Now from 60x you take away 12x, that would give me 48x, right? So therefore the value of x is 432 divided by 48. 
right? Now, let me see if 9 can be utilized. So, 48 times 9, what do we get? 9 8 are 72, 7. 9 4 are 36. 36, you add 7, you get 43. So, clearly, 48 divides 4, 3, 2, 9 times. So, the value of x is equal to 9. Now, this is the all-important value that we need. So, moving up to the figure, x is equal to 9. Now, what I wish to do is, as I mentioned to you, this OE makes an angle of 90 degree to the tangent. So, when I say 90 degree, there is also another 90 degree that is being made here. Right, because this entire, this entire length, I uh, should say the entire degree, the arc, or the measure of the angle that you see here is going to be 180. So if this is 90, this will also be 90. So let me just draw that. Now, what I wish to do is, I would like to connect the point C with O. Right, so I'm just connecting the point. So what do you see here? When I connect the point, what do you see here? You see a triangle. So there is a triangle x x is equal to 9 here and then you got a side here 6 and you, this is the hypotenuse side. We don't need the hypotenuse side. All we need to get is apply the formula of area of the triangle because this is a triangle and we also have another triangle here. Right? So two triangles are formed and apparently you can clearly see that the sides x is equal to 9 over here and x is equal to 9 over here and the base is also going to be x is equal to 6 here or I should say uh, the radius being 6 units here. So clearly what we can do is since we are having a 90 degree here and this height, this is taken as the height and this is taken as the base. Similarly this is, can be taken as a base and this can be taken as the height. So if we were to take the area of the triangle formula, right, which is nothing but half times base into height, base into height. So I'm going to utilize the area of the triangle for this triangle. So let me take it as T1. If I were to do that, then the value that I would be getting here is, let me use the space here, half times the base is 9, so let me substitute 9 first, multiplied with the height is 6 units, right? The height is 6, so 2 divides here 3 times, 9 times 3 is 27. So this is one triangle, but we need to get the other triangle also. So that means there wouldn't be any change in this area all, uh, area of this triangle T2. So the total area, so can, uh, we can conclude that therefore the total area, what are we looking at? We are looking at triangle T, T1 plus T2. So total area T1 plus T2 will be what? Area of one triangle is 27. So two triangles are required. So two times 27, that's nothing but 54 square units. So, if we are not visualizing the figure, if we are not dividing the shaded region into two triangles, then it's difficult to see the exact configuration of this shape because this shape is made up of two triangles. Okay, so I have just used that concept and I obtained the area of the shaded region to be as 54 square units. Thank you everybody. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to receive more content and also please see the next video in the recommendation. Thank you.